The animal of the day, March 17th, is the extinct Quetzalcoatlus. Type, pterosaur. Diet class, carnivore. Average lifespan, estimated to be 20 to 50 years. Size, 10 to 12 feet or 3 to 3.7 meters in body length. Wingspan, around 30 feet or 9.1 meters. Weight, 440 to 550 pounds or 200 to 250 kilograms. Population status currently March 17, 2025, extinct. Population estimate, none, extinct. Native lands, modern day North America. Primary habitat, inland plains, river valleys, and semi arid environments. Main predators, none, apex level. Active time, likely diurnal. Species age. Emerged 68 million years ago and extinction occurred 66 million years ago. Notes. The Quetzalcoatlus is a genus of a Zdarchid pterosaur that lived during the Maastrichtian age of the late Cretaceous period in North America. The type specimen, Quetzalcoatlus northropi, was recovered in 1971 from the Yavelina Formation in Texas and was later described in 1975 by Douglas Lawson. The second species, Quetzalcoatlus lawsoni, was discovered between 1972 and 70 for also by Lawson and in 2021. The fossils were assigned the lawsoni epithet by Brian and Race and posthumously. Juan Langston Jr. The Quetzalcoatlus northropi has gained fame as candidate for the largest flying animal ever discovered. However, size estimates have been difficult to measure due to the fragmentary nature of the only known specimen with dramatic wingspan range estimations in subsequent years being from 17 to 85 feet or 5 to 26 meters. The Quetzalcoatlus is believed to have had a long and slender beak and it is likely that it was a quadrupedal. As a pterosaur, the Quetzalcoatlus would have been covered in hair like pycnophobers and had extensive wing membranes, which would have been distended by a long wing finger. There have been various models of the morphology of pterodactyloid wings, though based on multiple well-preserved pterosaur specimens, it is likely that as darchids, including the Quetzalcoatlus, had broad wings with a brachial patagium extending down to the ankle. Body mass estimates for giant as darchids are problematic because no existing species shares a similar size or body plan. But a majority of publications hovered around a weight for the Quetzalcoatlus of 440 to 550 pounds or 200 to 250 kilograms. The Quetzalcoatlus was plantigrade, meaning that it would walk on the solace of their feet with Lawsoni possessing well-developed pedal unguals, which support moderately curved claws. In 1975, Douglas Lawson rejected the notion that the Quetzalcoatlus may have had a pecivorous lifestyle like other trinodontids due to the fact that the Big Bend site where the holotype was discovered is roughly 250 miles or 400 to kilometers away from the coastline. And he also believed that the river systems of the locality were too small to support an animal the size of the Quetzalcoatlus northropi, and instead, Lawson suggested that it was a scavenger. Although it was argued that due to the light construction of the Quetzalcoatlus beak, it would have had too weight for other predators to open up a carcass before it could feed. And that while many scavenger birds had extremely flexible necks for probing meat, the Quetzalcoatlus had a stiff neck. It was also stated that the Lawsoni species beak was relatively weak and unhooked, making it unlikely that it could have torn the flesh from a carcass. Other suggestions about the Quetzalcoatlus ecology has been put forth, such as actually being a piscivory and using a skimming method for capturing fish. But many morphological adaptations that are seen in skimmer birds are absent in Quetzalcoatlus and other as darchids, making it very unlikely. Another suggestion was that the Quetzalcoatlus probed for burrowing invertebrates and used its beak to pluck them from the substrate which has been suggested for the Lawsoni species. However, wading animals tend to have large, long, and broad feet with a high surface area which contrasts the morphology seen in the Quetzalcoatlus and other as darchids. 
The predominant model of Azdarchids, including Quetzalcoatlus, feeding behavior is that they are terrestrial stalkers, meaning that they fed upon small terrestrial prey, possibly like frogs and turtles. It was noted that the Quetzalcoatlus, along with other Azdarchids, was adapted for soaring, although some have found it possible for their musculature to allow flapping flight similar to swans and geese. However, the method of flight in these pterosaurs depends largely on their weight, which has been controversial. And widely differing masses have been favored by different scientists, with some researchers suggesting that the Quetzalcoatlus and other Azdarchids employed slow, soaring flight. And it was also argued by Donald Henderson that the Northropy species had to have been underestimated because otherwise it would have been too massive to achieve the power of flight and that it therefore must have been flightless. Although it was argued that the Quetzalcoatlus was capable of flight and two researchers concluded that Northropy could fly up to 80 miles per hour or 128 kilometers per hour for 7 to 10 days at altitudes of 15,000 feet or 4.6 kilometers. And biomechanics professor from Chatham University Mike Habib suggested a maximum flight range of 8,000 to 12,000 miles or 12,874 to 19,312 kilometers. These are of course estimations, to which Habib and other researchers stated that Henderson used outdated terrace or models to make mass predictions. Every day is a new animal so subscribe for more.